Hey, CC gang, welcome back to. <coughs> hey, CC gang, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my simple work makeup look. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I'm seeing you guys watching, nobody's subscribing. Also, like and comment. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, also, check my description box. Follow my social media sites, which will be listed down below in the description box. And also, all the products I use will also be listed down below in the description box. And also, if you want to know more about this wig, I have a hair tutorial where I do a wig install. But I'm going to be ordering some more hair soon. And I will let you guys know all about the wig I ordered because I love this wig. But this ain't about hair. Let's get to the video. So first I'm going to start off using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn to prime my eyes with. And to spread that concealer out, I'm going to use a fluffy brush. So to set that concealer, I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge with a little Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. So going into my Morphe Boss Move Palette, I'm going to use this lighter brown shade as a transitioning color. I'm going to apply that right on the upper lid. Now I'm going back in that palette using that darker brown shade with my e.l.f. brush and I'm going to apply that to the middle crease of the eyelid to darken the shades up. So I'm going to use that bigger fluffy brush to blend those colors out. That way the colors don't look like they're just sticking on top of each other and it'll look well blended out. So going in with this shade, I'm going to apply that to the lower lid and a little bit over that darker color as well. Now we're going to take some Great Lash Mascara and I'm going to apply that to my lashes before applying my false lashes. Now that the lashes are set, I'm going to go in with my Ambi Fade Cream and I'm going to apply that around my hyperpigmentation around my mouth. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer, the orange color corrector, and I'm going to just spread that all over my mouth. And then I'm going to use a flathead brush to spread that concealer out. Now using my beauty sponge with my L'Oreal foundation, I'm going to spread that foundation all over my face. So I'm watching Nightmare Before Christmas and I'm just thinking to myself like, 
Remember Sally and how she fixes her master or whatever, his food, and she poisoned him like three, four times already, and yet he still trusts her with his food? Like, come on now. Using my Tarte Shape Concealer in the color Tan Sand, I'm going to apply some concealer under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead, and my chin. I'm going to let that sit before doing this step here, which is basically spreading and patting the concealer into my skin. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm going to set that concealer. I let that loose powder set for about 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes 15. After letting it set, I'm going to wipe the rest of that powder off using a clean brush. Going back in with my Morphe palette, I'm going to use this brown shade as a underlying eyeliner color. I guess that's what you would call it. I've been saying it wrong probably for the longest, but basically I just use color eyeliner with the eyeshadow palette and apply that under my eyes. Then after that, I'm going to use some mascara to bring out my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Contour Bronzer and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks and to my forehead and basically when I apply it to my forehead I just use temple to temple I don't go all around the forehead. After using this pink eyeshadow color for blush before, I ended up falling in love with it. So I decided to do it for this look as well. And this is in the Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette. So before applying our lipstick, you guys know I love to use some Carmex to make sure my lips are hydrated. And then I'm going to go in with my NYX lip liner in the color brown. I'm going to outline my lips. Now last time I didn't know the name of this lipstick, but I found out that it's called Stay Matte in the color Mocha. And you can get this from your local CVS pharmacy for like $6.99. I loved this color when I applied it. Now I'm just going to brush out the hair. You can do a bun. You can lay it down. I just laid it down. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just added my glasses to give the look a little more fashion. And this is what I call my everyday work makeup look. It's real simple, real cute really fun to do i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and comment and also be sure to check the description box below and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye